How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to share some products worth mentioning. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what they are, keep on watching. So I have several different products here. A couple were sent to me and some I had purchased that I wanted to share with you that I thought was worth mentioning and do like a little mini review maybe sort of. So let's first step into a company that I see a lot of my other lovely ladies here and gents that are sharing the Eliza Cleanser 3-in-1 Face Cleansing Paper. There's like 50 sheets in here. And it's in a really nice uh, compact. I will have a video coming up here. I will share with you in just a moment where you can see this in action. I wanted to do it whenever I had makeup on to see how well it did do with taking off my makeup and everything. So it does come in a really, really nice compact. It's like a lot of the um, cushion foundations, kind of a compact really, because when you open it up, it has the, you know, cover here and you just open up the little door and there's the little papers in there. There's a mirror. I didn't take off the thing off the mirror. There's a nice mirror. And um, I believe this retails like anywhere around $20, like about almost $20. I think on their site, it might be just a little bit more, but you can purchase it on Amazon. I will put links down below so you can go and check it out and everything. I think the product is a nice, unique product. That's why I put it on here. And I think it's going to do well for somebody that travels. I think also where this could come in handy is when you're at work. And then after work, if you're somebody that likes to go to the gym after work, you know, or something to that reference. Uh, you can use these and remove all your makeup. You know, yeah, if you're going out with the girls and maybe you want to freshen up and put on some new makeup, you can clean, clean it off. I'm sure there's other ways to use this, but the part that it's unique and different, I liked. So let's go to the video and you'll hear me talk about it a little bit more and uh, share my thoughts on it. Okay, so the Eliza um, wipes, I'm going to show you how they work. And I have a little bit of water here in front of me in my little cup. <laughs> Note, it is hard to get one out. <laughs> okay, so here we have one. This is one here. So as you can see, it, it, it's just like it's paper. It feels silky. I don't, it's very odd. It's very hard to explain. So I'm going to take, and all you need, if you put it under the spigot, I found that is just too hard on it. Like it, it almost obviously will, the soap that you're trying to get or the cleanser you're trying to get, it kind of washes it away. I, it's a learning curve. So I'm dipping my finger into some of the water and I don't know how long. I'll have to do it a couple times, I guess. All right, so there I have it wet and you're gonna see, see how it's dissolving and it's like the craziest thing. I'm gonna dip my fingers in a little bit more because then as you can see, it, it's, it's like a cleanser. Now for me, I'm gonna try one, but for me, I'm finding I need two, maybe three. I know some people said they only used one, but for myself, I felt like I needed two. And that's what I feel like now. So I'm going to take another paper. It says up to two to, th or it's out, it does say up to three. So I'm actually going to take a couple more pieces here. Again, rub your hands together. It's like it just disappears into your cleanser, which is crazy to me. So I'm going to go ahead and see how well it does with the makeup. Wash. The makeup off. It, it's a creamy cleanser. I use this wet cloth here right now. My husband got me a nice wet cloth. Let me look in front of this here. And my mascara looks to be off pretty good. And it feels pretty soft. It does feel pretty soft. Okay, so the real tester will be for me to see how much 
makeup it might have removed is I'm going to do my toner. I'm going to use my Dick Dickinson's toner, hydrating toner. Well, I don't see anything. I can't do this around my eye, obviously, guys. <laughs> so that, but I, I feel like it did get rid of a lot of the makeup off around my eyes. Okay, a little bit there. I don't know if you could see that. Just a tatty, tatty, tatty? <laughs> What's tatty? <laughs> my, my vocabulary has been so off this past week. <laughs> There's like a little tad bit right here. But like I said, it's just a little bit. So overall, this product here, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. <laughs> And I would highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, it's up to you, but I think it's a product worth mentioning. For okay, so as you saw, my husband was giving it the thumbs up. He put his little thumb in there and everything. So all in all, I think it's a good product, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Okay, so the next two products I'm going to share with you, one I purchased, one was sent to me. And how I came across this duo, duo <laughs> using them together was my hands are so dry like this winter has been horrible for my skin for my heels for my knees for my hands my face just everywhere it's just been dry and like I'm using my body scrubs and exfoliating and just doing all these things and it's like a little extra work which it usually is but this winter for some reason it's just been horrid a friend of mine sells from a company called, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but it looks like it's Juara, Juara. Anyway, I do see QVC sells these too, but she has her own little uh, shop going on and I, she was sharing some of the products and talking about them. She even gave me some samples. And I'm gonna tell you what, there's a nice eye cream in there. It has caffeine in it and it is really nice. This is um, actually a coconut, Felipe hand and nail balm. I like how that says that, but that's that's what it has. Hand and nail balm. Uh, it hydrates, plumps, and brightens conditions, nails, and cuticles for all skin types. So oh, this product, which first of all, if you love the smell of coconuts, you will love it. It really penetrates in your skin. It is no joke. It soaks in your skin. It's like you're, it just it drinks it up. I was using this, and when I was having the problem of the extreme dry. I remembered I had this product from Equate, and it is the uh, Moisture Care Cocoa or Cocoa Divine Body Oil Gel, and it helps give a skin a healthy, glowing appearance and replenishes the moisture, moisture and it moisturizes. So I remember I had this. So what I would do, and boy, I smell like a bunch of coconut caramel kind of scents and everything. I would take this and put this on my hand first and just rub and massage it in with the in the oil and go the whole way up down around my elbows and just go all over the place and then once it set and dried and and soaked in and everything I would use this guy so this combo right here has kind of saved my hands in a big way I'm gonna check more into this brand here as I go at some point okay so the next two products it's basically a comparison would I say dupe? Mm. I don't know. I would say I'm just going to go with comparison, but very close to being something similar to a dupe. But I, a dupe to me is still right on point, and I'm just going to go, it compares very similar. They're very similar. Put it that way. I'll compare it to they're very similar, and one is so much more affordable over the other one. So what it is that I found a product that compares to the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Now this one helps refine the appearance of pores and deep cleans the pores and helps smooth the appearance of the skin texture. So it's in the blue tube. Now this baby and puppy here is like $75 and that's pretty pricey but I do like these Dr. Dr. Brandt products. I have his microdermabrasion one. Love that one really well. Don't know if I'll find one that compares to that one but I might try and see if I can find something similar. 
but this product I really like too. And these have come in my boxy charm, so that's how I ended up getting them. This is two ounce right here, so it's two ounce product. And Dr. Brandt has really good products. But $75, I thought, you know, like if I do want to get it, I might have to, because I don't mind making the plunge. I don't mind that. Like if there's a product I really like, I will go ahead and make that plunge. I will do that. And I have done that with other products here that I have. But sometimes if I can get lucky and find something that compares to it and is very similar, well then, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use that product and purchase that product instead of. And the item I'm talking about is from Neutrogena and it's the Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. This product right here. And on here, it helps reduce the appearance of the pores and refines the skin. And it actually has a glycolic acid formula with exfoliators. And this says new improved, which I don't know, I didn't have the original one, but this is 6.7 ounces. And I paid about $7, roughly about $7, depending on where you get yours at. You know, I mean, it's anywhere under $10, put it that way, for a 6.7 ounce. So this was a shocker to me and I was so happy because it is a lot like his product, a lot. I get the same effect from both really, like the, the feeling, the texture, everything. So I feel like it's very similar. So you might as well go ahead. If you do like this product, maybe give this a try and see your set for yourself. Or if you've been wanting this product, I'd say just get this one here and might as well, if you're going to save save some money, you know, and, and see how it works out for you. And I thought definitely that was worth mentioning. And then finally a product, I, well, I actually, and I'll put a picture here. I was actually sent some products and I was so tickled. Oh my gosh, was I so thrilled, tickled. I was like a little kid screaming or squealing, I guess, in some sense inside. I didn't really scream out loud, but inside that uh, Nick Chavez sent me a basket full of, like a thing full of products. And oh my goodness, it was just, I was so excited. There's some products I've already tried and then there's some that are new to me. And this one's new to me and I just used it a couple different times already. And let me just say to you gals out there who might have anybody out there that has thin hair or your hair's just limp and it doesn't do anything for you now i have thick hair okay i do i have thick hair so i don't really have that problem but this puppy here kicks it up a notch or two this is NYX Overdone Volume Booster Spray. It's big in volume and body with Tamanu, Tamanu Extract, if I can say that correctly. Uh, you hold it practically like 10 to 12 inches away and you spray it and you massage and rub in your hair. Let me take my rings out and I'll show you. And his hairsprays are awesome or any sprays. They're not sticky, tacky, tangly. I Oh, that's the one reason why I never really liked hairsprays, but his are by far some of the best I've ever had. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just do a section here and a little section there and maybe a little section there. And I'm going to go ahead and it says to massage with your fingers, which that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, granite, yes, I have thick hair but if it does this for my hair imagine what it's gonna do for your hair Let me put my pieces there but I mean imagine what it's gonna do for yours do you know what I mean so I'm gonna do this side a little bit because it is a little bit more limpy over here is limpy even a word Me saying limpy, me and my words. Where do I even come up with my words? I never know. So, yeah, I'm gonna massage that in. I mean, you can already see the volume that it does. I mean, so, I mean, if it's doing this for my hair, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And my hair is already thick and whatever. But holy cow, like, 
<sighs> them days when I when I shampoo my hair and like I do a scrunch like sometimes I can scrunch my hair and my hair can go a nice fluffy scrunchy look and then sometimes it's not so puffy <sighs> this is my little trick now that I'm gonna use when I need those days where I want it a little more just a little more poofy. Check out Nick Chavez's products out. He has some really great hairsprays, definitely. I know Natalie the Beauty Diva, she even raves over his hairsprays. She said that's pretty much what she uses, is a lot of his. Yeah, Overdone Volume Booster Spray. I give it a total thumbs up and I felt like it was worth mentioning. And oh, I can't get over my hair even. I mean, it's like I said, I have thick curly hair, but and yes, Mary, yes, Mary, Mary's going to, I know what Mary's going to say. Let's see if we're going to see. She's going to be like, damn it, girl, give me your hair. Just chop it off and send it over. She says that to me all the time. I always crack up laughing. Yeah, she's so cute. Anyway, um, so those are the products I thought I would share with you guys and felt like it was worth mentioning. So have you guys tried any of these products? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts and what you think. Links will all be down below to each of the products if you're curious and interested in anything. So thanks so much, beauties. I really appreciate that. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Love that so much. And also maybe share my videos out there too. Get me around out there a little bit more and noticed. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as hit the bell. The bell will notify you by email of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So that way we can keep connected and you can stay with me and join me for each week of when my videos come up. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.